show on back with part two. Let's continue here. All right, we're talking about the ungodly. That's the wicked. That is Esau, Edom, the white man. Let's continue here. All right, so again, it says here, irreligious. So again, he, this man is not religious. All right? That's a facade. You understand that? That's an illusion. Okay? To deceive. You understand that? Because it's telling you right here. Right? Am I making it up? What does it say there? Irreligious. He's not a religious man, the Edomites. Do you understand that? Or immoral. Ungodly, the ungodly lives on self-obsession, in lust, and in pleasure. That's Esau. Okay? Unholy, godless, irreligious, right? So he's not religious at all. You understand that? Okay, he's not religious at all, all right? He won't receive the Lord, okay? What is that? Isaiah? No, we're going to stay there. We'll go to the other one. We'll go to this one here. All right. Let's go to uh, Isaiah. Go to Isaiah 26 and 10. All right? Let's go there. See? This will show you how ungodly this man is. All right? Let favor be shown to the wicked. Right? Who is he? So Edom, the white man. Yet will he not learn Righteousness. See that he can't learn it. He can never be righteous. The Lord didn't create him to be that. Remember, he has no repentance. We'll prove that in a moment as well. All right? In Hebrews. In the land of uprightness, no words like when Yahushua comes back and we're in the kingdom, Yahushua's kingdom, right? He takes down. Esau, Edom's evil, wicked kingdom here, okay? And he's getting ready to do that, all right? This man in the land of uprightness will deal unjustly. He will still be wicked. He can never repent. He has no repentance. If you go to Acts 5 and 31, it will tell you that repentance and forgiveness of sins is only onto the nation of Israel, onto you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's not given on to the other nations. It's not given on to Esau. Now, of course, that's not what they tell you in their churches, but I'm telling you what's in the scriptures. Okay? All right? Acts 5.31 will tell you that Repentance and forgiveness of sin is on to Israel, and that is through Yahweh Shai the Machiach, who is the mediator, as we read in uh, 1 Timothy 2, 4, and 5. You people got that? Do you understand? But they don't tell you these things, do they? If they did, if they even told you about 2 Timothy 4 and 5, by reading that yourself, then you would know that there's no reason for there to be a pope, a bishop, a cardinal, a priest, or a minister. Whatever self-proclaimed title that they want to put on themselves. You would understand that that is all a facade. Okay? Because through the scriptures, you have a direct line through the mediator, Yahweh Shai, unto the Father. But again, this is only for the Israelites. You see? And they're not going to tell you that because if they told you that, then their churches wouldn't be full. They couldn't make any money. Do you, are you people getting it? Are, are you getting the understanding here? 
I mean, the scriptures tell you twice in Acts. Okay, Acts 7.48, Acts 17.24 will tell you the same thing. The Lord does not, does not, okay, reside in those temples, which are churches, built by hands. It tells you that twice. And in Jeremiah 5 and 7, he tells you that he calls the churches, these temples, to be harlot houses. You, you people understand? So where does the Lord dwell? He dwells amongst his people. That's all over the scriptures. Like 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye, ye Israelites, are the temple of the Most High. And that he dwelleth within you. You see that? Do you understand people? Just like, you know, that's all over the scriptures. You read it in Numbers. All right? What is that? Numbers 33 and uh, verse 34, 35 there. And again, that's where the Lord is saying, you know, how he's reading out about the vengeance that, you know, uh, you know, the Edomites, the heathens, uh, spilling, uh, spilling the blood of Israel. And the only way to cleanse the land is by shedding the blood of those who shed the blood of the Israelites. Okay? And it goes on to say that the Lord dwelleth within his people. You understand? All right? All right. So, in the land of uprightness, Will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh? You see that? The wicked shall do wickedly and not understand. Okay? All right, what is that? Daniel 12 and 10. You see? But the righteous shall understand. And who are the righteous? The righteous are the same people, you know, who are the poor, the meek. The saints talking about the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? Do people understand that? Look, what further shows you here? All right? We go to Hebrews. All right? And we go to Hebrews here. All right? What is that? Hebrews. What did I say? That's uh, 12. And 16, I think, right? Lest there be any fornicator or profane. And we're going to see that word because we're going to go back to reading, you know, completing the uh, the reading of ungodly, all right, on Google, all right? So remember that word there, profane. And, and profane means what? It means ungodly because you're going to see it, okay? Lest there be any fornicator, see, all right, or profane person as Esau, you see, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, which he did, right? For ye know that afterwards when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. See that? He was rejected. That's the way the Lord set it up, all right? In other words, he was never going to get, all right, the blessing that Jacob, our forefather, right, who is the progenitor of the 12 patriarchs, the 12 sons he had, and we are that seed, those children, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You understand? All right. For he found no place of repentance. You see, Esau has no repentance. He cannot repent. Do you people understand that? nor can the other 16 heathen nations. All right? We're talking about the Ishmaelites, all right, who are the Arabs. You're talking about Anamites, the Japanese, Moabites, the Chinese, okay, Elam, uh, whoever it is. They have no repentance or forgiveness of sin, okay? They're into their false idols of worship, idolatry. Okay? You understand that? 
people. You get it? So he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. And this man's been crying ever since. Okay? And so he's trying to create his new world order, which is not new, it's old. Okay? In order so that he, you know, can continue to play God here on the earth. But he only has a certain time to rule. His rulership is temporary. No different than the Babylonian, ancient Babylon, or the Medo-Persian, or when they first came into power, the Macedonian kingdom, or as the Roman Empire. It's temporary. It was, this was only going to be, this was going to be their third and last hurrah. And that's it. And that's it for them. It's over. And we're at the end of their little season. You understand, people? All right, let's get back to uh, to ungodly here. See? So again, unholy, godless, irreligious. So he's not a religious man. That's an act he puts on. Blasphemous. All right? You see that? Blasphemous. Okay? Uh, what is that? Daniel? Go to Daniel. What is that? Daniel seven twenty-five. He shall speak great words against the Most High. You see that? Hello. You see it? He shall wear out the saints. That's the Israelites, the saints of the Most High. The Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Northern and the Southern Kingdom. See that? Think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time of times and dividing of times. See? All right, let's get back. Sacrilegious, see? Profane, right? I read you Hebrews, right? 12, 16, 17. See? Heathen. See? Pagan, as in their holidays, Christmas, Easter, whatever have you. It's all paganism. This has nothing to do with the Lord. This is all against the Lord. All right? This is against his laws, statutes, and commands, which were not given unto him, but unto the Israelites. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Okay, which is backed up all throughout the scriptures. Okay? Immoral, corrupt. Immoral, corrupt. This is, this is all the descriptions of Esau, the man of sin. All right? See, depraved, sinful. The man of sin. See, wicked, evil. Let's go to it. Let's go to Thessalonians. All right? As a matter of fact, we're going to go there, but then we'll come back with part three. We're going to pick it up at part three. All right? Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. We'll pick it up here. We'll be right back with part three. Shalom.